What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another story time video. But as I, we did last time, we're gonna jump into some stuff I want to talk about before we talk about how I messed with um, my manager, or the new guy. Today I was supposed to get new internet. However, that did not happen. I like I mentioned before, you guys know it's been about a week since I got the internet, and I never got a confirmation email, and my account was never charged. Um, they never took out the money you know like I never like paid for it. I gave them my inf my card information but they never took out the money which was like really weird to me uh, so today I'm finally like okay should I get an email should I get a call that this guy is going to come and install the internet and I can't find any emails so I searched Time Warner Cable in my um, inbox and guess where it is in the junk mail that is where all the Time Warner emails went and it's probably where they belong so apparently they had been sending me emails for the last five days saying hey we didn't um, actually put your order through it kind of we kind of fucked it up uh, please call us so I did call them and uh, the guy on the phone was super friendly super nice and he got it done right away but I won't have internet until Thursday although there's a possibility if someone cancels their installation time whatever um, beforehand, I could possibly have it Tuesday. So, Tuesday or Thursday, one of the two, I'll have internet. Yes! Uh, second thing I want to talk about, holy shit, what the fuck is YouTube doing? Like, really? Um, YouTube has finally come out and I basically told everyone what they've been doing for a while, which is, uh, taking away monetization from videos that were controversial, too graphic, or just breaking their quote-unquote guidelines. However, their guidelines are very restricting and honestly feel like I feel like they put those guidelines in to censor content creators because you can go look it up for yourself. Um, I would suggest going to Philip DeFranco if you don't already know him to watch the video he did on it. He does a much better job of explaining it. He's also not a lazy bump and doesn't want to go and pull up the image and put it on the video now. So go do that on um, hashtag selfish plug plug whatever. So it feels like censorship, and this is going to affect a lot of YouTubers who just want to make their own content. Like, people have been flagged for just, like, acne treatments. Um, granted, you can get the videos, like, repealed and get the ads back on them, but you still have that chunk of time between when they take the ads off and then when they finally put it back on that you lose revenue. So it's kind of a big thing. I'm not sure what they're going to do about it. I'm not sure who's going to be, like, either a take action against YouTube or YouTube's gonna realize that they're getting a shit ton of backlash for this and they're gonna fix it um, because I can understand some videos they're just too graphic you know you can search on YouTube and you find this weird ass crap um, and probably shouldn't be monetized but then like they're taking away monetization from content creators who are you know talking about some tragedy that happened or a natural disaster and then their video gets um, demonetized but then like Fox News and all this other stuff their video is still up there with that same content but it still has ads so it's kind of like the fuck uh, YouTube is kind of like I don't know barely into the abyss now that Facebook Instagram Twitter they're all getting into the uh, video like realm and you I feel like either YouTube just freaked the fuck out and is trying to catch up or it just doesn't know what they're doing I honestly f hope to God that YouTube stays strong and continues on because I still want to be a YouTube star and a Twitch star. So, you know, double my chances of fame. Mm. <laughs> no. Even if YouTube crashes and burns, I'm still going to be on here making YouTube content because fuck it, I love it. But, um, yeah, so there's that. What else is new? And then I guess we might as well just jump into the story. Two days ago, our one of our managers, I believe it was the manager, because there's like different managers for different things, like a server manager, there's like a buster manager, there's like a cook manager. Um, but one of them left uh, because I think they were just tired of us because we were kind of driving her crazy. Not me personally, I was on her good side, but some of the servers were kind of dick. So, yeah, there's, like, me, my level of being a dick, and then there's, like, the rest of the staff. And then there's me, like, I go I go up and down. Anyways, the replacement came in. This is what we call an MIT manager in training. So he's going to stay at this restaurant for a while, and then he's going to get transferred to another restaurant where he'll be that manager. Well, on his first day here, 
a pool was set up. And if you don't know what I mean, like a betting pool. So how long it was until A, he gets on our nerves, or B, we get on his nerves. Right now, the most common bet is um, about a week. So it's only been a few days, so we're going to see in a week if he like absolutely loathes us yet or what's going on. We've already started kind of messing with him. I put in my two cents, was like, he's like, I'm here and I'm ready to get on you guys' nerves. And I'm like, not if we get on yours first. And he just kind of gave me this look of like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It was a joke, but you're being serious. And I'm like, yeah. Um, some of the other servers were basically like getting him to do things that he's not really supposed to do. Because there's like a server, server professional, and then manager. Server professionals are the ones who really help the servers out if they're like, They've got too much to handle and they need help like running food or something. The managers mainly stay in the back. They void tickets or stuff like that. Like um, they have their own thing to do. But a lot of the servers were making them this new manager do the SP's job, which for some reason the SP wasn't saying a thing, but it was more just laughing on the inside. So we were getting him to run food, to take drink orders. It was bad. <laughs> It was, I was looking at this poor guy going like, how are you not realizing that this is completely off, dude? Like, I don't know, because I know in order to be a manager, you have to have worked in that restaurant for a long time, because just to get to an SP, like, people have worked there for, like, three, four years, so it's like, to be a manager, like, damn. Or he just got a manager degree and skipped all the hard work, which is probably maybe the case, um... Although I do know he does work, he did come from a different restaurant, so because I was talking to him about it, so maybe, I don't know, I don't know, but anyways, he was, you know, getting his leg pulled, uh, and then someone went so far as to say, hey, someone's looking for you, and then just sent him to the front where no one was looking for him, so that was just kind of like stupid, but the making him run food was kind of funny, although I, I like this new manager. Okay, I'll be honest, I like this new manager because he set another one of the managers who I hate in their place. And it was beautiful. But that is for another story. So anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and uh, for more content, make sure to go to my Twitch channel, which I think is linked in the description below, because there will be streams sometime soon as long as Time Order Cable can get out of my junk mail and into my house to install the internet. So... Make sure to love yourselves and love life. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.